basically it means uh, build up of plug in your coronary arteries. Okay, so I think it's easier if I show you this uh, little uh, toy that I have here. So imagine your artery is cut in half. And if you look at the inside of our artery, it is nice and smooth and pink. Uh, but over time, you build up plaque in your coronary arteries. Yeah? And this is the yellow stuff that is built up in your coronary arteries. This is called atherosclerosis. So the whole point of us uh, doctors trying to get you to take your medicines, control your blood pressure, control your cholesterol is such that you will have less of this happening. And eventually, if you don't do anything much about it, you can get a blood clot forming inside the small space here. See the red thing is the blood clot. So that's what we call a heart attack. Okay. So this, uh, this diagram just basically shows uh, what I've been talking about. When you're born, your artery is nice and clean, but as you get older, plug builds up in your coronary arteries and eventually you get a heart attack. So what are the symptoms that one should look out for if you have an impending heart attack? So now most commonly, uh, the pain is often described as somewhere in the center of your chest. And it is not focal or one point, but it's usually behind your chest plate here. Uh, and it's often described as something that's compressing or congestion. And oftentimes you break out in cold sweats that means you're in a cold air, con air conditioned room, but you're still breaking out in cold sweats. People also sometimes feel uh, very short of breath. Now, there is a difference between men and women. Men often have the more classical or typical symptoms like chest pain and breathlessness and sweating. But women's oftentimes present with a heart attack, but they don't get the classical symptoms of heart attack or of chest pain. They may feel anxious, their heart may be beating fast. Some, some of them may have jaw aches or arm aches. Yeah? So there's a slight difference between men and women. Now there are three main, uh, three basic tests, which I think are essential in detecting for heart disease. Uh, and they are relatively uh, easily available in any hospital or clinic uh, and are relatively in inexpensive to do. The first test is an electrocardiogram, which is basically a snapshot of your heart rhythm. Uh, it is a very basic test, but it gives quite a lot of information. Uh, further on to that is the treadmill test. Uh, which is like an ECG test, but the ECG monitoring is continuous whilst you are on a treadmill exercising. So that gives us further more information as to whether you have uh, atherosclerosis or not in your, in your arteries. The final test that I re recommend is an echocardiogram, which is basically an ultrasound of your heart. Uh, it looks at your heart muscle, it looks at your valves, and to detect if there's any indication of any uh, potential heart disease. Yeah, so three basic screening tests which I recommend. Terima kasih telah menyaksikan video ini dan jangan lewatkan video menarik lainnya dari channel Tekon TV. Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Stay healthy with Tekon TV.